Hello children, how do you do? Hope all are fine and safe watching the videos at home. Thank you very much for staying at home and liking our videos. Welcome back to today's English class. This is Triveni in front of you to start our class with an interesting topic. Are you all ready? Yes? Then take your pen and paper to note them down. But before going to start our class, let's revise the content of our previous class, Subject Verb Agreement. Hope you all noted all the points that you have learned in previous class in your notebook and practice them well. That's good. Tap yourself and clap your hands for being the best. Now, let's revise our previous class once again. We learned that subject should always agree with the verb. Singular subject takes singular verb. Plural subject takes plural verb. I and you are treated as plural subjects. That's good. There ends our class. Let's start our today's class. Get ready to start. Now, in today's class, I'm ready with an interesting topic to teach you. Do you want to know what is today's topic? It is question forms. A very interesting topic to frame questions. Isn't it interesting? Yes. Then come on and join with me to start. Most of the children are fond of putting questions right from their childhood. Aren't you? Absolutely. Even I used to put many questions when I were like you. So let us learn how to put question forms in a right way. No more time. Let's get into topic without wasting a moment. Okay, what are question forms? What they formed? Let me help you out in explaining that in an easier way. But before that, children tell me, when you want to know about something, what will you do? You will get clarified only by asking questions, don't you? Yes. One more question. If you haven't understood the lesson taught by your teacher, what will you do? The same answer repeats. You will put question, don't you? Yes. Now, last question. When you go to market, zoo, or to a new place, what will happen? A number of questions run around your mind, don't they? Definitely yes. So what will you do? Undoubtedly, you will put questions. Can you put them as you like? No, you can't. You have certain rules to frame questions in a proper way. Questioning is very important because one answers according to the question only. So, are you ready to put questions in a right way to get right answer? Let's go to learn the rules of question forms. But don't forget to note them down. Question forms are of two types. Type 1, WH questions. Type 2, questions with helping words. First, we'll start with WH questions. Type 1, what are WH questions? WH questions begin with WH word. Here they are called WH question forms. The WH question forms are where, why, when, what, who, which, whom and at last how which begins with end of the word WH where H stands for how. So these are question forms which give us information. What do they do? They give information. Hence, we use WH question forms to get information. That's right. You understood. Good. Let's move further to learn about the usage of WH forms. Let us start with WH word where. Remember children, when you frame questions, you should always begin the sentence with question word followed by an auxiliary verb with a subject and a complement. How should you start? A question should begin with question word followed by an auxiliary verb 
with subject and complement. And don't forget the question mark at the end. Second important point, the tense should be same in both question and answer. We should never change the tense while answering or question. Next point, the word which will not follow an auxiliary verb. We don't use auxiliary verb after the question word which. That's good. Remembering these rules, let us start our questions with WH word where. Where is used to answer the questions about place or destination. When do we use the question word? We use it for knowing about the place or destination we live. Have you got it? Then let's look into an example to understand it better. Look at the example. My parents are going to market. Where are they going? To market. Market is a place or a destination. So what is the question word to be used? Correct. Where? That's good. After question word, an auxiliary verb. They are helping verbs like is, am, are used in present tense. Verse and word are used in past tense. Do, does, has, have and so on are the auxiliary verbs. But here there are many auxiliary verbs. How should we choose? How should we choose them? Very simple. We should use them as per the subject and tense. What is the subject here? Parents, plural subject. So we use plural auxiliary verb. What is the plural auxiliary verb? Are. That's good. We got the question word where followed by an auxiliary verb are. Then what should come next? Good. Subject. What is the subject here? Parents. So frame now. Where are parents? Uh oh, wait. Hold a second. Whose parents? Yours or mine? Your parents. Then use possessive adjective. Your in front of subject followed by a compliment. Again, what is the compliment here? Is it praising a person like your mother praises you when you help her in household work or when you do homework without mis mistakes? No, that is the compliment you get as an appreciation. Here we have to use compliment which is called as object or the remaining about the subject. So what is the compliment to be used here? Market which gives extra information of subject going to. So finally we got the question for where are your parents going? Correct. Good. Next, let us go to the next usage of question word when. The question word when answers the time. It is used to find out the time of the action. Means when denotes the action of time. That's good. Look into the example. I go to school at 8 a.m. At what time you go to school? 8 a.m. 8 a.m. denotes time. Hence, what is the question word we have to use? Correct. When. Good. Now frame the question. Question word followed by an auxiliary verb with subject and complement. Are you ready? Yes. Frame the question. When do you go to school? When is the question word? Auxiliary verb is do and the subject is you. Go to school is the complement. Question should end with question mark. That's good. Don't forget both the tense in question and answer should be same. When do you go to school? I go to school at 8 a.m. Both the question and answer are in present tense. That's good. Now let's go to the next word. Why? Why? Answers the reason. Mostly you put this question when you don't understand the situation or reason behind it. For example, the baby is crying for milk. By looking into the example, you understood that the baby is crying for milk. So, here the word baby's cry is related for the reason milk. So, hence we have to use the word why. 
How do you frame the question word followed by auxiliary verb with subject and complement question mark at the end? So let's begin the question. Why is the baby crying? Very good. Why is the question word? Auxiliary verb is the baby subject and the complement crying. Question mark at the end. You have learned the usage of question words where, when and why so quickly. Let's learn the next words also. The next question word we are going to learn is what. What answers about the position, being or profession. For example, my father is a teacher. I am a student. Here the word teacher in first sentence shows the position of the father that he is a teacher. And the word student in the second uh, sentence shows the position of a student. So frame question with the question word what. How do you frame question? Don't forget the chain link. Question word followed by helping verb with subject and complement. So what is the question? What is your father doing? What? Question word is helping verb your father subject doing complement let's go to learn the next word who and whom who and whom answers about the persons we are talking about example punit is my best friend here we are talking about punit who refers to a boy so what is the word we have to use who so frame a question with the chain link. Question word followed by auxiliary verb with subject and complement. So here what is the question we have to frame? Who is your best friend in the class? Who? Question word is auxiliary verb. Your is possessive adjective best friend subject in the class complement. Very good. Same way, let us frame a question word with whom. How will you frame? Whom are you talking to? Whom? Question word. Are. Helping verb. You. Subject. Talking to. Compliment. I'm talking to. Principal. That's great. Now let's go to the next word which. Which tells us about the particular thing or option. Remember, which don't follow auxiliary verb after them. Example, Sneha liked the pink dress. What are we talking about? The particular pink dress Sneha liked. So, frame the question with which. So, what is the question? Which dress did Sneha like? Here, if you observe, there is no auxiliary verb used after which. And the tense is both question and answer is past tense. That's good. So let's go to the last question word of WH. How? How answers about condition or opinion or information. For example, I am quite good. How am I? Quite good. The word quite good shows the condition of health. So, what is the question word you have to use? How? So, frame the question with the chain link. Question word followed by an auxiliary verb with subject and complement. Very good. So, what is the question? How are you doing? How? Question word. Are. Helping verb. You. Subject. Doing. Complement. So, this is the most familiar question you ask. Frequently when you meet anyone after a long time. So finally we have learned all the question words of WH which gives information you have learned them so easily. Aren't you? Yes. Then tap yourself and cheer up with three claps. Children are you enjoying our video class? Is your brother watching video class with you? Do you complete your evaluation sheet? Are your parents helping you in evaluation sheet? Now, what did I do? I have put questions to you. 
they are questions used with helping verbs which give yes or no answers so stay tuned to the next class for learning questions using helping verbs thank you for watching this see you again